straightforward a character as, say, like Diddy Kong or Rosalina. No, no, yeah. no, no. He, he takes a lot more uh, just getting used to because of his unorth unorthodox play style. He doesn't really have like any like true uh, approach options as much as he does like deception. Like he yeah. loves to deceive people. Yeah, just like a ninja. Exactly. And then you got uh, Shulk right here, and he 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 thrives on his multiple abilities uh, with his uh, Monado Monado arts. Yeah. Yeah. Without him, he's kind of like a very stale character in my opinion. Yeah, Without he's him. very slow. Yeah, he has a lot of lag on his moves. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in Shulk's case, it's almost like a little too much. Yeah. Right now, he's not really using any of the Monado Arts right now. Just going out straight up Shulk. Yeah. They have really long hitboxes, and they last for a long time, which is a good thing. Yep, yep. Like, he was just displaying that right now with his Nair, and uh, Greninja just kind of ran into it. Yeah, he, he's Ooh. doing really good on uh, catching Greninja off guard. He was keeping Greninja up in the air for a very long time and gave him a lot of percentage. Nice dare, but he, he misses the Nair. That Nair is actually a really strong attack from what I've seen before. Yeah. I, I'd say after like 20% at, at the little rage he is right now, he could go into Smash and potentially get an early kill. You have to get a hard read for that to have to work, though. Yeah, with Shulk, definitely, because he doesn't have a lot of safe kill options without Smash. And while you're in Smash, it's still pretty unsafe. Right now, Shulk's in a very bad position right now. He tried to counter. Anticipating an attack, but yeah, but he let down his shield too early, and he and Greninja gets the kill with that little bit of rage he was able to gain. Yep. Barely misses that force smash, trying to cover Greninja's landing right next to the ledge. Yeah, if you get the first stock in Smash Four, it's a, it's so good because what? Go ahead. Yeah, because you have rage, and in, like you push the opponent so far back, it's hard for them to actually finish you off sometimes. Yeah, you can't really like do a shield grab if you get hit in your shield by a smash attack because you get slipped so far. So like your options out of shield are pretty limited. Yeah, definitely. But that's the thing about what I noticed about Rage right now. He's very smash happy. Yeah, he really wants that stock. It's almost like better off that Floaty just shields all of his match attacks and just gets a bunch of grabs off of this. Yeah. What I do is in Shulk's position right now, since uh, Smash doesn't actually increase your damage, the damage you take, it only increases how far you go. Yep. I would have used Smash a long time ago because I knew if I got a simple tilt, I would be able to have gotten that kill. So <laughs> what, that counter was looked like it was going to be so powerful and it was just so disappointing in the end. <laughs> yeah, so that was a good 24% though. Oh yeah, Shulk's counter lasts for a very long time, but yeah, th yeah. The more you use it, the less window of the less frames it has of actually countering. It's a it's very tricky because it's like you you always think like you're all so used to like Fire Emblem characters with their counters, like, yeah. it doesn't really last that long. And then you get to Shulk and you try to hit him like where it's like you try to hit him like where you would think a Fire Emblem character would be uh, uh, vulnerable. And then you just get hit like that hard, you know. It's just kind of a powerful realization that you yeah. just done goofed. <laughs> yeah, making you think twice about like, you know, just uh, punishing counters right away. So you switched to Link, actually. Oh yeah. Oh, this is gonna be an interesting counter pick, though. It's a. Uh, I'm gonna see what Rage is gonna do differently with this character because he has strong smash attacks as well. Yeah, Link is such like he is very very strong, like more so than in any other Smash game. That's true. Uh, like Link is definitely like this is the best he's ever been, I, I, in my opinion. Yeah, his up air does like 18% has super strong kill potential. Yeah, I believe it. It's it's crazy. Still going smash happy, but like in this care in in this case, he can definitely use his projectiles. Yeah. Around him, you know? Actually, I think that Link's Link smashes are kind of like Mega Man smash attacks because they come out really fast. But if you miss, there is a window of uh, you, where you can get punished. Yeah. Which is great, but you just, like, if you go smash after, you're gonna. Oh! I Link saw the. The the bad thing about Link is that uh, his aerial game is really slow. Like, the, the only really quick aerials that he has in there are back air. Yeah. But, like, they, they don't really. From what I noticed, it doesn't really cover that much range. Uh, not a very good approach option, so you just, like, want to. Like, everything about Link is just defense. Yeah. Like, he's he's a, mainly a keep play character. Yeah. But he gets a really first stock, just showing how powerful this Link is. Take a little back Greninja, it's not deceptive, he is. <laughs> Going for the hardest of reads. And oh my gosh, the kill with the up smash. 
Link doesn't really have that many options uh, in this game when it comes to coming from above. Yeah. He has that powerful dare. Yeah, but, you know, if you played for Glory, you know every Link spams that. That's true. It's kind of easy to just get used to that. Yeah. A really good thing to do if you're a Link player is use your claw shot in the air. It's good for mix-ups and for faking your opponent out. None of these guys are really doing any edge guarding per se. They're just kind of like, whenever they hit somebody away, they just kind of go straight to the center. Yeah. Which is, which is a, 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 it's a tactic. It's a, it's a clear tactic because yeah. it's like if you hit somebody away and you go straight into the center, you have positional advantage in the neutral. Yeah, they're very safe plays. Yep. Because in Smash Four, if you miss an ed edge guard, you're put in a very bad position. It's kind of like. I feel like whenever you're in this stage, whenever uh, you're fresh and new player like this, nice to help smash. Yeah. It's like you don't even want to go for the edge guards because it's just so difficult because re recoveries are pretty much good, like universally yeah. amazing um, across the cast. Yeah, and like the, the sweet spot on the ledge is so lenient in this game. Like it's very lenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was pretty lenient in Brawl, but like in Smash 4, it's definitely lenient. Yeah, you have, but there is like a one frame counter that you can hit with. Yeah. Yeah, if you've seen some matches on VG, like with Eichelman, you use it. Ganondorf, he was playing against the Mario. Uh, in the in the animation where Mario was recovering, there was he hit the one frame with his forward smash that you could punish a recovery with. So yeah, it's also some other yeah. matches, but that's the one that's really stuck out to me. I ne I have never actually seen Aquaman's Gandalf in Smash Four before. <laughs> yeah, I was just you know just watching VG boot camp, just pitching against one night. There was something I love about what Floaty is doing with his uh, down tilts, like. He seems to love to approach with those things because it just leads up to many, like it leads up to so many different opportunities with aerials. Yeah, definitely. Try to go for it right there, but Rage just jumps over him and nares it. Yeah, we can see he's playing very safe, just looking for an opening with Link. But this Link is not letting up. He's go uh, always trying to put this pressure on Greninja. It's true. He just keeps going on in. Doesn't even like want to throw his projectiles or anything. Doesn't want to force the Greninja to come to him. He wants to go towards him. Yeah, seeing a lot of uh, back rolls trying to fake him out. Ooh, nice. Uh, what? Uh, what is that thing? Water Shuriken. Yeah, wa Water Shuriken. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad I got that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not a really good attack in the Pokemon games. Well, for Greninja anyway. I think it's the only move. I think it's the only Pokemon that I can actually find that move. Yeah. Other than Smeargle. Oh yeah, of course. Smeargle knows everything. Yeah. Why isn't he in this game? He knows everything. <laughs> OP. V create. I guess once uh, Link or Benin I guess whenever they're at high percent, sound tilt doesn't really uh, combo yeah. into anything. So Link is gonna. Really much. Oh yeah, sorry. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was such an intense like mind game like setup right there because he's just rolling back and forth waiting for that opportunity to get that voice. Yeah, I actually thought Link was gonna get the kill because I knew with that Link. Um, was definitely able to get the kill of that percent yeah, yeah, with yeah. that much rage. He was able to have that opportunity to read him, but uh, was just not, couldn't get in in time. Yeah. You know, another really good technique, if you uh, want to get good at the Smash 4 Mario game, uh, you can you can always like uh, pivot tilt, which is a really good technique. Yeah. Uh, I never really I never really use pivot grabbing, but I'm sure it's good. I just don't use it. And what, do you know why he's going for the taunt? I've I seen him do it twice. Know. I don't know why. Maybe there's actually some sort of hidden hitbox that we don't know about. No, there's a hit. No, I know there's a hitbox, but there's no way he was going to hit him like under the stage. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe he was expecting him to jump into the water. Yeah, be maybe. all stylish. Yeah, I mean, he is one stock up, but being game three, I don't know. I, I love Floaty's like techniques to just like be able to like catch people off guard with that down tilt. Like he just keeps throwing those sure you can. And waits for that moment where Rage is going to be vulnerable and it's coming with that down tilt. Yeah. He doesn't want he doesn't want Link to get any attacks on him because the more percent, the more danger he gets put in Link's strong kill moves. Ooh, he tries to go for that read there that would have finished the game, but he uh, doesn't get he doesn't get it. Yeah, he should start punishing the recovery now since he's used it three times in a row. I feel like Rage should just be up to at that at that rate because I, I feel like with his Rage with being that high, I feel like up to would just be a better substitute for us Smash whenever it, keeps to, whenever it comes to juggling people. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he could have punished that one right there. 
Oh, oh Lord, oh. that's it. That for that first hit of the fourth smash should not have killed. What I heard like at the patch that that uh, thing with knockback was reduced where it couldn't kill, but I guess it was wrong. I was wrong. I was very unfortunate by Floaty. He had the neutral game down, but that one that one mistake cost him the entire set right there. Yeah.